Next, she's just a, a, a great, great artist, great singer, and uh, uh, even more, she's a better person. And uh, she joins us, Shelby J. <laughs> getting ready. Oh, but- and Mama said you got to get, get packing, so uh, we want to thank you for uh, stopping by because you're heading up to uh, the Twin Cities. Yeah, I'm headed out tomorrow. Thank you for having me on. And, um, yeah, I'm headed out tomorrow bright and early. Uh, my band is flying in. For a lot of them, it's their first time in Minneapolis. And uh, I'm just going to, to give a lot of love and hugs, you know. Um, like I was telling you earlier, I was like, we're going to be all right. Right. You know, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a tough time, It's a, but it's a beautiful time because we can all be together. And uh, we can celebrate, you know, this man's life and legacy. And, you know, I, I love my brother. I miss my brother. And I know that he is smiling right now with all of this the purple energy and love that's about to, to come to his home. That's right. You know, yeah, he gave us love his whole life, and now we get a chance to sh- to give that love back and also to his community. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, we, we should mention, uh, we you know, if you don't know, Shelby J was with Prince for 10 years, singing with Prince, starting with the Super Bowl all the way up on, until his uh, untimely passing, and uh, she just uh, saw a lot, performed a lot, and uh, he was... Her brother, and uh, she also yeah. uh, sang in D'Angelo's band and uh, Anthony Hamilton, and her own record is coming out uh, called Ten, and that's yes. going to drop uh, pretty soon, right? Yeah, that's going to drop. It's going to be uh, dropping on the 19th, which is the first day of my show uh, at the Dakota, and uh, the album is dedicated to Prince, and I'm, I'm really excited to finally, finally be able to share this music that... Uh, I put so much of my heart and soul into, and, you know, I would let Prince hear songs that I started, and he would give me his feedback, and so he's he's really a part of this record as well. He's all through it, his influences, his guidance, um, so it's really, uh, things have come full circle, and um, I'm going to be in Minneapolis. I couldn't think of a better place to release while we celebrate his life mm-hmm. and everything that he meant to us. I wanted to honor him in a way by doing what he told me to do, because uh, like Jackie said, he would always be like, if you want it, go get it. Get out there. You can do it. Just like leap, you know, just jump. You can do this. And uh, I hear that in my head every day, uh, even, you know, when trials and all the tribulations and things come your way, when you're trying to create something that doesn't exist and all the new things you have to learn when you own your own label and it's my manager and and myself and you know we're working burning the candle at both ends and in the middle but he did it and i watched him do it and he was like you can do it too so this this record means a lot and i know he's smiling and i know he's happy that it's done and i'm going to finally be able to share it with the world and especially first and foremost with our purple family in minnesota it's just it's perfect. He was like, Shelby, you got to play the Dakota. When you drop this record, I want to see you at the Dakota. And that's exactly what I'm doing. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to be at the Dakota. And, and in fact, he was there uh, one of the one of the nights, uh, his, his last week uh, that he was still alive. He went to see a show there, right? Yeah, he went to see Liz Wright. Right, and right. it goes to show you how the universe works. That's who I'm on the bill with on Thursday's show. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, Liz, yeah. Liz Wright is the eight o'clock show, and okay. I'm the ten o'clock show. Okay, and right. so that's that's going to be a lot of love in that room, and we're we're connected, you know, by our our relationship, you know, with Prince and and the love of his music and and him loving our music, and you know, he's like I I just really want that people that really sing and really play, I want to shine a light on that and make sure you guys get the attention that you deserve. And he was like, just go get it. You know, and he, he taught me so much and I'm just super thankful and I'm ready for everybody to hear these songs and, you know, just to, to be with the the purple family all over Minnesota. I mean, I'm going to be everywhere. Right. I'm going to be giving out free hugs <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and, and you made mention already, you're going to, you know, you know, we know you're on stage doing your concert, but you're going to be doing streaming and stuff like that. You're going to be doing everything, like you said. Yeah, because there are, certain, there are people, you know, I keep it real. There are people who weren't able to make it to Minnesota for mm-hmm. either work reasons, financial reasons. And I get that. I totally understand that. Um, so I want them to feel like they're part of it as well. And that's the beauty of the Internet. 
And uh, so I can go on and, and just do my FaceTime live and let people see what's happening, you know, everywhere that I'm allowed to, to film and bring them in so they can feel like they're, they're a part of the journey, too. So I'm going to be um, streaming live from my Shelby J Facebook page so that, you know, people following me, as soon as I go live, they'll be able to know Shelby's live at the Dakota. She's on her way to Perkins to meet up with the Purple family. And it's just going to be a fellowship. Um, deaths can be sad. And, you know, we lost an icon. We lost mm-hmm. a giant. We lost someone who was otherworldly. And the one thing that we all have in common is our love and respect and admiration for this man and all of the beauty that he left behind and the fact that we can all come together. I think somebody said there are people coming from 29 countries. Right, right. All colors, creeds, races, religions, and especially with everything happening in the world now with so much divisiveness. Mm -hmm. The fact that we can all get together and we're going to all be one color. We're all going to be purple this week, baby. Right, right. (laughs) Yeah. And you're going to be over. It's a four-day celebration at Paisley Park. Uh, You'll be over there performing. And and you're talking, giving a speech as well, right? Well, not really a speech, but there's a a panel. And, you know, people have, they have questions about, you know, our rehearsals and just things that uh, true fans and real fans, uh, they want to know things, not, you know, private matters or anything like that, but just uh, the inner workings of our, our our band and how we would prepare for a show and uh, just the, the artistic vision that went into it. And they're they're curious and they're, they're really, really, they've been with us on this journey, even before I was with Prince. Mm-hmm. There are people coming that have been following him for 30 years and they've never met members of his band and it's just going to be a really great time for them to ask questions and for us to meet them personally and answer their questions and, you know, just, just share. Like, we're a family. Right, and so right. it's like, a to me, I'm looking at this as like a, a purple family reunion. Right. And we're all his, we're all Prince's kids, all his children. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Coming from all over the world. So it's going to be nice. But I'll be on the panel, and I'll also be uh, performing there with uh, with members of Third Eye Girl and with my sister Liv Warfield. And it's, it's just going to be amazing. And I'm ready to, to honor my brother in, in the, the way that I know how, which is through my voice and spreading love and light he'd be like Shelby gonna make them happy right and that's exactly what I'm gonna do (laughs) all right we got to get into uh the first single from your new LP coming up uh very very soon uh 10 but this is the first single to drop from Shelby J called good to know and uh where's the best spot people are gonna be able to get the record right away oh iTunes they can go right to iTunes on the 19th it goes up and uh iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby, and there'll be links for it on my show, BJ Facebook page as well. Okay. Let's take a listen. We'll come back and speak once again, and then we'll let Shelby go and pack. But, uh, this is <laughs> I, better a- get, I better get packing, and I just fed the kitty cats out back. So oh, I- <laughs> okay. All right. We'll come back and talk with Shelby J for a little bit. This is uh, good to know. All right. It's already been uh, determined right now I won't be engineering Shelby's next record, right? Sorry about that. You okay? I was like, hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, you know, you were talking about the, the upcoming panel at the celebration at Paisley Park. You'll be a part of. I, I have a question. Um, working in the studio with Prince, because we've seen him on stage and everything, there's been glimpses yes. of Prince handling, uh, mixing, and, and performing in the studio, but mm-hmm. you've been right there. What kind of, what kind of, uh, cutter of music and, and writing and recording what did he record fast or was he numerous takes on things what, what kind of guy was he in the studio well it would just depend on the song mm-hmm. uh sometimes we come in and uh his parts would already be down and live elisa and i would um he'd have you know written handwritten on the paper um the, the, the background parts of the lyrics to something like you know walk in the sand or um, Black Muse or something, and he would play it, and we would listen to it, and we would figure out our part because he loved the fact that we could do that. We each had a, a lane, and uh, I would usually be, you know, the alto or tenor part, at least as a soprano, and Liv and I would switch parts as well. And, you know, we go in and, and record and, and some, you know, sometimes lay our parts individually. He liked a lot of us um, many times to have all three of us around one mic, and uh, sometimes we would even do our vocals uh, actually in the in the recording room where mm-hmm. the where the soundboard is, 
and uh, he would leave us in to record our vocals, and he taught each of us how to work the tape. <laughs> oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, which was really cool. I never really learned it. He goes, you need to know how to do this. And, you know, with everybody using Pro Tools and everything like that, and so much stuff he recorded was analog. So, you know, we learned how to look at the numbers and take it back and who's punching it and who's punching it in and stuff. So, and he'd leave leave us and then come back in an hour and be like, are you guys done? Uh-huh. <laughs> so, <Right. laughs> And be like, yeah, you want to listen? So uh, he listened, and, uh, you know, if, if something needs to be fixed, we'd fix it. But each song was a different experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he was always passionate about making sure whatever came out was the best version of the song. And, uh, you know, he was just, he was music. He, it, he, it was his oxygen. He lived it. He breathed it. He ate it. He was music. Um all through him that's like his his dna mm-hmm. and uh i'm just you know I, sometimes i sit now and i think about just how fortunate and blessed i was to be around that genius and now that i'm you know i'm working with my with my band and i'm organizing you know stuff for my shows and you know upcoming you know tours and things like that it's all him you know everything i soaked up i just i just didn't soak up uh singing the you know the lyrics to chelsea rogers and, and singing you know, uh, don't stop till you get enough. It's the the business that he taught as well that he um, that he imparted that knowledge and um, that work ethic. Um, I'm working harder now than ever. Uh, myself and my wonderful manager Monica McKnight. I call her the the make it happen captain. Yeah, we got to thank <laughs> and, Monica. Uh, yeah, yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, she's a godsend, and so. But I just learned a work ethic from him that uh, is. Bar none. I mean, he's just, he taught us how to work harder. And he was like, winners work harder. And you don't sleep. You keep working. You're tired. I know your voice hurts. I know, but you're going to, you know, it can be better. And the bar was just so high. Um, and now all of that energy and everything that I applied to um, learning his shows and learning his music, he was like, now I've taught you how to do that for you to apply it to your music and to your albums and to your shows and to your tours. And now I can, I can feel that every day that I'm going through all of the stuff, setting up the shows and the, the album and the release and everything. And I hear him in my head and I feel him and I do something and I'm like, aha. All right. <laughs> Cause I can, I can see him going, that's my girl. You know what to do. You know what to do. Shell. Go ahead. <laughs> did he, did he ever give you a tour of the legendary vault going in there? Uh, no, I never went inside the vault. Oh, okay. I never went inside the vault. I knew it existed. Right. Uh, but, you know, and I wasn't going to ask. If he wanted me to go inside, he would ask me. But, um, yeah, I never. I knew of his existence. But, no, I never actually went physically inside. I, I think John Blackwell told me he saw uh, a sign of the Times drum kit in there. That's what he told me. Oh, wow. Right. That wouldn't surprise right. me. And I'm so glad you just said yeah. John Blackwell's right. name because I uh, just got off the phone with uh, Yaritza, his wife. Oh, yeah, and, that's uh, right. literally, I mean, really like 45 minutes ago, and I want to let everyone out there listening know that he is doing okay. He is still in ICU. Mm-hmm. Uh, his condition has not changed, but he's breathing on his own. Uh, he's blinking his eyes. I, I called up. She put me on speakerphone. I sang to him wow. on uh, his, yeah. his wedding anniversary, which was last week. And uh, just please pray for the Blackwell family and pray for his, his beautiful wife. Mm-hmm. and his children and everyone affected when someone falls ill like this. There's so many other lives affected. And just really keep him lifted up in prayer because uh, prayer is powerful. So i just like to ask everyone listening to please say a prayer for our brother, John Blackwell. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing at both my shows at the Dakota. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have a special song I'm going to dedicate to him that night as well. Wow. Yeah, he, he that, that's tremendous that you're doing that. He, he actually called me... Uh, and I spoke with his wife and, and John right after the New Year's. He called me at home, and, you know, I guess he took a ter- turn for the worse shortly thereafter. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Good, good guy. And you guys, yeah. tremendous bands together along these years, right? Oh, he's the best. Yeah, he's, you know, he's from Columbia, South Carolina. That's so right. He's my, he's my North Carolina, South That's Carolina right. brother. Yeah, he, he, he told me to wear khaki lackey. Cackalack. Yeah, Cackalack. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, because he's, he's like, Shelby, you from North Cackalack. I'm from South Cackalack. So that <laughs> means we brother and sister. I'm like, right. I guess so. <laughs> right, right, right. 
Yeah, I love him a lot. He's a beautiful human. Yeah, yeah, and we hope uh, he recovers. And, and, you know, he's got a GoFundMe page as well. You can go on uh, John Blackwell's Facebook page, and, and Shelby's doing a great tribute to John at the Dakota. Yes, uh, and I'm going to shout out his GoFundMe page and let everybody in there know what that address is so they can go right to their phone and they can uh, do what they can. You know, right. if you can give $10, give 10 If you can give 2 give 2 If you can do more, just do what you can do. Every little bit will help. Yep. Uh, musicians, it's a different lifestyle, you know. It's it's like your own business and everything. So you know, every little bit helps. Yeah, uh, a lot of tough. people, you know, just need to understand. You know, it can be. I always say it can be feast or famine. <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, even when you, you know, even when you budget correctly and do things correctly, no one foresees a life altering uh, uh, condition happening, uh, like having brain tumors and having to have three or four brain surgeries, and you have you know, a wife and kids and everything like that, and you are the breadwinner and you make your money by going out physically playing the drums, and now you can't physically do that with anyone anymore right now. Mm -hmm. So it's just important that um, we all just band together. I know that he would do this for me. I know that he'd be trying to help me and, and other band members if we found ourselves in this situation. And I'm actually going to talk to Morris Hayes, who is like the... My the MD forever, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm going to talk to him about uh, trying to put together some type of fundraising concert uh, for John, for all of us to come together and just do some type of concert. Mm -hmm. And I have all the money go to uh, John Blackwell a Medical Fund. Oh, that, that's going to be great, and uh, I'm sure you guys will put it together. Oh and, yeah, uh, we'll make it. We'll we'll make it happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, every time I talk with Shelby, she's. Uh, you know, she just makes me feel good. I'm sure our listeners are feeling upbeat like that. And, you know, Prince is no longer physically here, but uh, Shelby and, and all the people the, in the Prince family are going to keep uh, that music alive and continue on, you know, what he taught you. So have fun up in Minneapolis. I know you got to pack and you're flying out tomorrow. So, Oh, yeah, I do. And thank you so much for letting me, uh, you know, speak and just kind of talk about uh, the wonderful, magnificent, genius of a beautiful human that Prince was and is and will remain and we are going to do everything to keep his legacy alive and to continue to spread that purple love everywhere and we're going to keep it positive and we're going to keep it fun and we're going to keep it funky all right and, and you got to come on when when 10 is officially you know sometime later on this spring Oh, that's what's on. up. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Cause, I'm, I'm, cause, I got, I got you. <laughs> yeah, because I, I got to play more songs, so I love to have oh, you. Oh yeah, I got, yeah, I got, I got ten of them. That's 10 right. Songs on <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go back right now. This is uh, Anthony Hamilton, your buddy, and uh, Shelby J. Shelby J. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you so much, and God bless. That's right. And, and Prince was involved in production on this, right? Uh, yeah, Prince played every instrument on this song. Okay. Anthony. All right. And he even played the tambourine. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Thanks so much, Shelby.